social media may be very democratic, but before you can collect any followers, you've got to be noticed and you've got to keep them interested. Aisha Baker Parnell has succeeded on both counts and she has fashionistas eating out of her hand. Karishma chatted to Aisha to find out how she does it. Born and bred in the mother city, Aisha Baker Parnell grew up in the company of a much loved mentor with an eye for timeless elegance and old school craftsmanship, enabling Aisha to build up the knowledge and confidence she needed to become a wardrobe whiz herself. Aisha married South African cricketer Wayne Parnell recently, but his tour schedule and her work ethic didn't allow for an extended honeymoon. So when Karishma met up with her, Aisha was pouring her energy into a fashion spread. Today I finally get to meet someone who's captured my interest for quite a while now, the fabulous Miss Aisha Baker from the oh-so-popular Bake the Blog. Aisha has a crazy busy schedule, but we've managed to catch up with her here today behind the scenes for a very exciting shoot for one of my favourite magazines. Hi Aisha, so lovely to meet you. How are you? Good, good, thank you. Aisha, I have to say congratulations because you just got married. How has that been for you? It was very exciting, but you know, right back to work. <laughs> would you say this is a typical day in your life? This is a typical day in my week. Um, I thought it would be fun to bring you guys on set with me and just see what I kind of do behind the scenes, but I do lots of other things as well. Well, I'll let you get back to it and we'll have a little catch up later. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> Whether she's creating a look or digital content, Aisha's approach remains the same. She's not satisfied until she's finessed every detail, while also appreciating the importance of teamwork in the creative process. Aisha, have you always been into fashion and beauty? Um, yes, I have. I have always been into fashion and beauty. I share a name with my grandmother, so I always kind of felt like I needed to embody her in the future. And she taught me everything I know about fashion and anything aesthetic, really. And beauty, I kind of picked up along the way. How would you describe a typical Cape Townian style? Cape Town is kind of the mix between Durban and Joburg. So in Durban, obviously, everyone's a bit more relaxed, seaside vibes and very boho and then in Joburg it's very glam, dressed up, high heels in the mall type of look. So in Cape Town we kind of mix the two together. I think that you get your relaxed crowd and then you get your hipster crowd and then you get your very glam crowd. Now I know you have one last thing to do before I can have you all to myself so I'll let you get to it. Okay, okay. It's quite obvious that Aisha has inherited her grandmother's eye for detail, workmanship and quality, even when she's arranging an Instagram shot. Aisha, you said your grandmother played a very big part in your life. Can you tell me a bit more about that and exactly how she influenced you? My grandmother looked after me when I was very young and I spent a lot of time with her in a sewing room. And she kind of taught me about fabrics and sewing and she showed me a lot of her fashion magazines. So from a really young age I was consuming fashion content and of course that's where my fashion dreams kind of began. How does your grandmother feel about what you're doing right now? My grandmother doesn't really understand what I do. <laughs> She thinks I'm a model, and sometimes she thinks I work for a magazine, and sometimes she thinks I work for a fashion house, which is kind of what I do, I guess. I just don't make clothing. Does she know that she's been such a big influence in your life and your career? My grandmother is quite a diva, so she kind of assumes that she inspires everyone, which she does, in fact, because she's so stylish and um, she kind of forward-thinking, I would say. Um, she always knew what would be trending and uh, she's kind of got this classic yet modern style which I think anyone can relate to. Aisha's online presence has become a highly successful commercial enterprise even though she didn't start out with this goal in mind. You started your blog in 2009 as a hobby. Did you ever think it would turn into such a successful career? So I started blogging as a hobby because I kind of needed a distraction from my studies and I never thought it could actually be a career. And when that kind of evolved, I was at the forefront of that and I was really lucky. 
So now I get to experience it firsthand and kind of pioneer the industry to some degree because I was doing it from the very beginning. What drew you to the idea of blogging? I had this website that I joined called Lookbook. It was kind of like a Facebook for fashion. And then a friend of mine suggested that I start a blog because my Facebook statuses were so long. <laughs> How did you turn your passion into such a successful career? I'm very much a trial and error kind of person and this is why the job suits me because I don't have any rules, I can kind of play around with it. Some things that I found that worked for me was just connecting with people and networking with brands so that I could earn money for my blog, which was very challenging in the beginning, but now I've got kind of a formula that I work with. Do you have any tips about how to actually start making some money from your blog? And having a professional look and feel and regular content on your blog really helps to get your blog to a level where it can compete with a magazine because brands are kind of spending money on either a blog or a magazine. So you've got to kind of make your site look professional in order to reach that point. And then also getting your own personal voice that is unique to you that people would maybe want to invest in and be interested in. How important is social media to your brand? The blog's kind of taken a backseat and I focus more on my social content. It's also a fun way to kind of do a job. So I love creating new images that people enjoy and interact with. What are your top five tips for creating a successful social media platform? Having fun and being yourself, whether that's, you know, enjoying a coffee or just styling an outfit. I think people love seeing what you do in your daily life. I think we are a curious population or a curious crowd. So um, sharing kind of an insight into your life in a visually pleasing way is very important. Having studied a BCom degree, how did your family feel when you decided you were going to be a blogger instead? My family was not extremely supportive when I first started my blog because they thought it was just a hobby and kind of a fun activity. What I've showed my parents and people in their generation is that you can kind of create your own normal or your own career. And I see so many people doing it now and I love it. I think that's where we should be, independent and forward thinking. Do you think Indian women are starting to be perceived differently in the industry? Women as a whole have a challenge in this industry when it comes to um, being respected. Uh, in media, women are often just seen as the talent and don't really get treated um, like entrepreneurs. So that's slowly changing and I love that it's changing. So I kind of want to keep that message very positive and kind of show them like, girls, we can do this. We, we've got this. We can earn our respect, you know, in any industry. Any words of wisdom for aspiring young bloggers out there? I would tell aspiring bloggers to trust their gut, go with what works. If you feel something looks beautiful and looks great, post it, go with it and, and just own it. Aisha's recipe for success has already earned her over 60,000 Instagram followers and secured her a contract as a brand ambassador for an international hair care product. She's enjoying the taste of success and she's got an appetite for more.